This is three dog. How can I help? Andy here for VGS, here to tell you all about some of the issues and problems I've had with the crafting system in Dragon Age Inquisition. Here in Haven is a place you're going to get very, very familiar with. This is the only place in this area before you get to Skyhold that you can craft. There's a way to modify armor, there's a way to modify weapons, there's a way to create weapons, and there's a different place to create armor. We're going to start off by creating a weapon. These are basic schematics that I've found throughout my travels, and they range from heavy weapons to staves, everything you can think of, and then there's also upgraded materials. These are the portion, the portions rather, that are going to be inserted into these weapons right here. So let's let's use a great axe for example. You have many different options of uh, what you want to use to actually build the axe with. This is about 50 hours in, I'm going to use Paragon Luster, and as you can see, that will elicit different stats. It creates a basic weapon, enduring great axe, but we're not done yet. From there, too, we're also going to build the crafting components. So here we go. We're finding this, and we're going to build the, uh, the grip here, which uses the same sort of components that can add extra stats to it there. There's also a pommel. So you think from there it'd be easy, we can just put that in together. Not the case, you gotta go to this other section, find that weapon, then craft that and add the parts that way. You need to do that for every single weapon you find. If you ever do wanna make any adjustments to it, you have to come back here to do it. Right off the bat, why isn't this in the same menu? And I have to do this to every single weapon and item that I find because I want to make sure that the stats are up to date. Because of this, I found myself doing, you know, a lot of just backtracking. Here is an example of how you upgrade the armor. This is an armor piece I made and also created upgrade parts for. If I get any other new pieces of armor, I don't know really how good it is until I come all the way back here, stop what I was doing, and add those new upgraded pieces. Now, if you take into account that you're also doing this for every single one of your party members, it becomes very, very tasking. It's a system that, you know, there is a lot of customability and it's great that you can do this, but the fact is, if you want to upgrade any of these weapons, you have to go through way too many uh, different boards. Right here is an example of the different weapon types you can get too, the rare purples. Those rare purples don't have as much custom ability, so you can't really tell if they're even better. There's just many instances here where there's so much back and forth, it's separated into four different systems of creating items, creating weapons, creating armor, and then having to add individual things to each of those weapons, it just doesn't work. And then there's another screen to even put them in, and there's schematics. So there's so many different systems here that I think need to be streamlined. I don't want to keep going back to find out if my weapon's the best it can be. Keep watching.